Thanks so much for choosing Storage DCS, a more private, secure, and economical way to store, access, and share your data. Let's get started by uploading your first object so you can start experiencing all the benefits of decentralization today. This demo will walk you through uploading an object using our S3 compatible gateway, the most efficient, performant, and familiar way to use Storage DCS. It uses AWS CLI for object upload. We'll start by signing up and saving our credentials. Later in the video, we'll use those credentials to configure the AWS CLI. We're going to start by starting for free and creating an account. If you're building an app as part of a company or larger team, please go to the Professionals tab and fill out the following information. If you are an independent developer, go to the Personal tab and fill that out. Please use a strong password, agree to the terms of service, and sign up. You should receive the email promptly. Here it is. And there we go. You then see the page where you can sign in. We'll just authenticate now. On our first sign-in, we'll be presented with a splash page, which gives us a few options. Because we're going to be using the AWS CLI, we're going to need Gateway MT credentials. So we'll go ahead and click Continue in Gateway MT. We're going to go ahead and name our access grant. You'll want to save all your Gateway MT credentials in a secure spot. Just for this video, I'm going to pull my screen over here and show a notepad. And we're going to save all of these credentials here for use later. We're going to go ahead and use the default access permissions and continue in the browser. Your passphrase is very important. It is used to encrypt your data, and if you lose it, you will not be able to decrypt your data. Please confirm you wrote this down or saved it elsewhere, which we did, as an example, to the right. We're going to go ahead and save the access grant. And now we're going to generate the S3 Gateway MT credentials. We're going to copy and save the access key, the secret key, and the endpoint. It is very important that you save this information. Now you'll be taken to your main dashboard, showing the bandwidth and storage available as well as the users on your account, the access grants, the buckets, and the charges. In this next part of uploading an object, I via AWS CLI and hosted S3 Gateway MT. I have my screen laid out with a terminal on the right-hand side and the quick start guide, which can be found at docs.storage.io. Let's configure the AWS command line interface, CLI, using the credentials we created and use it. First off, we will create a bucket and then upload a file into it. We're then going to list and finally download that file. The client needs to have the AWS command line interface installed. You can install it on Mac, Linux, and Windows. If you need instructions on how to do that, go ahead and reference the Quick Start AWS CLI hosted Gateway MT guide in the storage DCS documentation. The first command will be AWS configure. We are going to paste these commands so you can see them, but don't have to watch me type them in. As you can see, it's asking for the access key ID and the secret key. After inserting the access key and secret access key, we go ahead and leave the default region for the satellite as well as the default output format. The configuration is almost complete. We're going to run two more commands that will improve performance. These commands are available in our how-to document. Configuration is complete. Now we're going to go through and create a bucket called screenshots. You can see here that we do the AWS S3 make bucket command, creating the bucket screenshots. We direct the command at the US1 gateway, strike return and run the command. Please note, depending on your location, you may be presented with a different endpoint. This is my default, but not necessarily yours. Please refer to the endpoint presented to you when you created your S3 credentials earlier. Once we complete, we will go ahead and list this bucket using the AWS CLI. You'll see here that we call the AWS CLI LS command. In our case, this command returns two buckets. 
a previous test bucket, and a new bucket for our screenshots. Now what we're going to do is take a screenshot that's on our desktop and upload it. This is what the command would look like. AWS S3, copy CP, a standard copy command. The location of the file on my desktop, the bucket for which we're going to place it in, and finally, the endpoint we are going to interact with. There we go, it's uploaded. Now we're going to go ahead and list the file, even though it just told us it was uploaded. Here's how you list that file looking in the screenshots bucket. There it is. Now we're going to go ahead and download this file into a different folder on my desktop. Here's that command, AWS S3, copy S3 bucket. The name of the file and the destination from the following endpoint. There we go, the file has been downloaded. Let's go ahead and open that folder. There it is today at 1132. Fantastic.